We are the Beer Monkeys. I'm Baz. I'm Adam. And we are going to review Dry Neck Golden Dry. Beer. Oh, yeah. By Witchwood. I have seen this beer in the shops so many times and never picked it up. Really? I don't know why. I love the... I love the... Uh, I, I prefer the older style, though. Never never picked it up. Why have I never picked it up? I love the bottle shape. I know this is like... <laughs> no, no. It, 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 it does matter, but it doesn't matter, if you know what I mean. It's like... Well, see, yeah, but if, if, it, if it makes you in the shop go, oh, I like that, and pick it up and read it, yeah. then you've got, they've got you. Yeah. All they want you to do is to lead it and then go, then it's like a chain of events, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. They're, not, yeah. they're just so clever, yeah. so clever, and if it, if it just ticks your boxes, yeah. you're going to have it, aren't you? But I love the livery of all these, I love the colours, mm. all the goblin stuff, which would obviously, it's fair to say, are most famous for their hobgoblin. Goblin range, yeah. King goblin, and they do... Golden, Golden Goblin, yeah. yeah, and which I think this is I can kind of consider this the baby brother, the baby of the Goblin. Which was the, which was which was the one, which was the one, which was the beer they did with the with the Goblin with the guitar. That, that was Hobgoblin. That was cool, wasn't it? Yeah, no, yeah, they, yeah. Did, did, was it, it must have been a limited edition thing, was it? Was it yeah, a flying V, didn't it? Uh, did he? he did, Over yeah. his shoulder. It's normally, it's normally like a pickaxe, yeah. but he had a, yeah, he had guitar, a flying V it? guitar. Yeah, that's yeah. cool, that. Yeah, they, they, they're great with the branding, the bottles, uh, the names, you know. I yeah. think they're just fantastic. They're almost like the ale, like the more kind of flat ale version of Brewdog. Yeah. You know, where they're very current <coughs> with affairs through collaborations. There's a lot of styling. There's a lot, there's a lot, there's a, there's a lot goes into it. It's, it's, and I love the... Uh, I mean, I don't know anything about bottle production, but yeah, they've got, you've got the you've got the witch. Embossed stuff. Embossed yeah. witches right. on it and stuff. I mean, that's that's attention to detail, isn't it? It's, it's really great. No, I do prefer the old style bottle labels. I've got to say, I've got to say, if you're watching, Mr. now, now that's what you should say that because I, I I'm a I'm a big one for that. I yeah. I I've, I I'm, I I love Landlord, um, and they changed they changed their um, the label of it, and I was like, no, yeah. I think the new label is shit. Yeah. The beer is great, but the, the that is what matters. But you do get disappointed because you think, why well, broke? Why you know it wasn't broken, so why why fix it? So this is dry there's neck. A say, there's a saying there somewhere. There is. Yeah, I can't. If, I just... it's, if it's broken, don't fix it. If you can't afford to fix it, then don't fix it. Get yeah. someone else to fix it. I don't know. I should coin that one. I should get it on a bumper sticker. So you've know. had this before, have you? Yeah, many I, times. I, I've never had this before. This is this is a total first. Many for me. times. Many times. I've always known. As long as I've known you, you've always been a big fan of uh, the Witchwood stuff. I do. I Absolutely. love it. I think if you're into rock music or you're into prog or metal or anything like that, there's a band called Magnum. And they have an album on a storyteller's night. Mm. I think it's like an early eighties album. Great album, but the cover art is Rodney Marsh. It is, yeah. Yeah, Rodney Marsh. Yeah. There you go. Nothing. Oh, we did, didn't we? He's a mate of Bob's. Bob Moon. Bob Moon. We yeah, when it, we, I can't believe I forgot that. A friend of ours who runs, um, he goes to festivals and he has he sells patches and teach and mer and like. Predominantly patches, really, and he yeah. makes patches for big bands, right. uh, official patches, and he's friends with Rodney. Yeah. And, and Rodney sits at his stall, and you can meet him and stuff. And, and Bob signing. sells his yeah. Bob sells his artwork. For yeah, him, yeah. Doesn't he? I did, I, and I think he did. I don't pray mantis albums. He did all that stuff, Annie. Yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely. But anyway, they've got a fantasy kind of theme running through them, mm. and it's all it's a bunch of goblins sat in a, an old pub, you know, with around a big wooden table with like loads of food on it, yeah, and yeah. big flagons of ale. And as a kid, I just used to look at that and go, "That is something about it." I'm a big fantasy geek, anyway. So. <laughs> it's interesting. No, it's, 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 it's they're great. What does he? It, is I, it? I don't know. I, I don't think he's got anything to do with this. But okay, it's just very that. similar. Style. You like that? Well, you yeah. like Lord of the Rings and all as well, don't you? Know, Tolkien oh, like stuff. It's all very. Uh, so this is. Um, it's great. This is just a. This is a golden ale. Four percent. Four percent. So it's session. That's funny. It's, it's funny. It's called a golden beer. <laughs> A golden oh, beer. Yeah. You know, they're often called an ale, aren't they? And they sell it as a very thirst-quenching beer, which is right. it's kind of an interesting angle to take, really. But you know, sometimes it doesn't, taste, you it doesn't taste a fart, so it'll be all right. Mm. It smells nice. Don't get that on my nose. Oh yeah, it's a mild. It's a mild. Everything, to be honest, it's not. Yeah. It's not particularly strong smell. It's, it's not particularly strong taste, but. Although it tastes very nice, it doesn't hit you in the face with anything out of the blue. It's a very nice style to drink. It's very mm. nice to drink. The actual beer itself is, is feels lovely. It's yeah. ve very nice. It's good when you're not out to get Ooh. absolutely blitzed. 
so quickly and you want to drink a few of these, you know, it's the kind of beer that you're not going to get sick of after two bottles, you know, you could drink happily. It kind of doesn't, it kind of, it kind of has a taste in the mouth, but has no taste when you swallow it. Yeah, I know what you mean. You know, yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like just in the mouth and you swallow it, it's like gone. Water. Yeah, it's like water going down. It's very strange. Maybe that's the, uh, maybe that's what they were going It's very light, but it doesn't state to be anything other than that. It's, um... Yeah, once it leaves your mouth, it's gone. Once it gets to the back of your mouth, bang, it's gone. It says berry fruits. I don't really get the berry fruit thing, to be honest. It's more like a... I get that. <laughs> I get this, like, oniony, almost kind of thing going on. Almost like a savoury sort of... Yeah. A savouriness to it. Herby. Herbal. Yeah. I, I, I like it. It's um, very nice. It is lovely. It is lovely. Mind your head. That's the first time I've done that in like 30 videos. It doesn't. It just has a lovely, gentle taste on your tongue. And, just, yep. and then as soon as it's like. <laughs> as soon as you're going to swallow it, it just goes. All right then, bye. <laughs> I'll be off then, bye. I mean, this is. No gonna, offense, man. It's not going to win any awards. Hope you liked it. <laughs> but it serves a purpose in your, in your camera. Oh, no, no. Beer yeah, it, do, it does serve a purpose. It, yeah, you're exactly right. If. If you just want to drink something, yeah, not not overpowering or not overly, it's just pleasant. It's just mm. nice and light, yeah. a really light tasting beer, isn't it? Yep. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, that's lovely. If you're out, if you're out in the afternoon or something, and you just bob in the pub for a beer, and you just want to. The last memory I've got of drinking this was in <laughs> was falling over, <laughs> smashing me <laughs> no, no, I don't mean like that. Oh. I just remember the the last time I remember I went out and got deliberately got some of this to drink was in the summer. Mm, it's nice. This summer, and obviously with a lot of yeah. down stuff. So we had a lot of barbecues. It's a lot. A very, it's a very summery drink, yeah. Yeah, it's, and I think golden beer is a bit. It can be very bland. It can be really bland. You know, golden and amber. Mm. There's like a. Very, it's almost two in the middle. You yeah. know, it doesn't push. Pale ale sort of goes. You know, you go towards this side, mm -hmm. then the darker you get. Yeah. It goes towards that side. Golden and golden in particular is is just quite. You know, it's it, it, it's just a little bit. It's more of a feel than a taste. Yes, yes, exactly. It's this. It's, that's, that's, at the beginning of the video, I was exactly right. It's more about the style of what you're drinking mm. than the than the flavours. Flavours, yeah. It's really fluffy and light, and then it's a little bit of a taste, nice little bit of taste, and then whoosh, it's gone. Yeah, like like you said, it keeps the heads staying strong after. A you don't feel. Sips. You don't feel. I imagine you could drink a few pints of that. You'd walk out the boozer. And you wouldn't feel like, you wouldn't feel bloated. You wouldn't feel no, yeah. an over strong taste in your mouth. You wouldn't have that taste. Constant. You'd just be like, burping. Oh. You just, yeah. just feel as you went in. It's a very cl clean, is it? Just clean, a bit happier. <laughs> just a bit happier and a bit, a bit poorer. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's, that's lovely. Yeah, good stuff. I like it. I like which ones. Nice. I've got a soft spot for them. Very English, you know what I mean? Very, a very English style of beer. I've said that before, but... Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah. Summer's day. Again... So, somebody, somebody started out drinking ales. You know, you, they mm. just drink, they just drink that because you got a taste of that. That's not offensive. That's lovely. Exactly. Doesn't doesn't pull in any one way too strongly. It's very down the line. Hits the spot. I Although think. my mother, who doesn't even drink, I gave her one of the, uh, I gave her a glass of that layer cake the other night. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have an alcoholic <laughs> on our hands. <laughs> She like it. Yeah, she loved it. Yeah, oh, right, yeah. yeah, yeah. She doesn't drink. She drinks a little bit of a little bit of wine, a little bit of this and uh, uh, occasions and stuff. But I was like, have a taste of that, and she was like, you know, it's lovely. No, it's funny because she sipped it and said, oh, I'm not really keen on it. I said, I said, taste, take a mouthful, take a proper drink of it. She went, it tastes totally different. Yeah. She said that is the way to drink it. Yeah, a got real to, yeah. mouthful, not a, yeah. not a. Oh, I don't like. Well, you're it. only getting a bit of the, you're only getting a bit yeah, of the head, aren't you? Exactly, maybe? exactly. No, but she, she liked it. That's yeah. brew dog layer cake. If you haven't. Sorry, seen I do apologise. Yeah. I digress. No, 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 no. It's, no I'm just. Um, yeah, yeah. But that's that's um, that's a lovely, in, a, a lovely inoffensive light, light ale. Yes, lovely. it's um, it's good, delicious. Definitely a brewery in the new year, mm. if we can. Covid permitted. If they want to send us any t-shirts. Ah, you know where we are. <laughs> the beer monkey is the shed. <laughs> That's it. That's That's gonna get it'll get. It'll get to us. Don't worry. But we've got to go. We're gonna go. Go. On. We're definitely going to go and visit them. They're in Oxford, Oxfordshire somewhere. Might right. even be Oxford. No, I don't think it's Oxford, but it's not far from it. Right. So we're gonna go and see them in the new year because they've got a bar, and it's top of the worst. 
top of the list of uh, places to go. You've visit. sold it. They've <laughs> got a bar. <laughs> I'm sold. Brewery, piss up. Uh, yeah. there's, there's an expression there as well. I think so, yeah, yeah. I can't remember where he goes, but, but. So, there we go. My thirst is quenched. Ooh. Thank well, you, Polly. <laughs> thank go, you. Thank go, you. Go, go Poblin. Thank you, Witchwood. <laughs> Witchwood. Which one? Witchwood? That wood. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, give the video a like, and check out what we have to offer on our Patreon page. Thanks very much.